What is the muse? Isn't it awesome that in this experience of life, we have these moments that kind of interrupt our everyday way of thinking, that kind of interrupt our everyday way of perceiving things or knowing things or knowing ourselves. It's like not just a glitch in the matrix, but like this grace in the matrix, this opportunity, this like lightning bolt that just kind of shatters whatever the monotony is, allowing us to be available to the freshness of this moment, allowing us to be available for the creativity of this moment, the ingenuity, the solutions. Uh, you know, it's like we get to live our lives in, the, in, in a mini renaissance that, that, that can alter the course of not just ourselves, but of anyone who has the blessing to receive it. I love inspiration. I love that life isn't limited to its own story. I love that there is no story strong enough to withhold the power of the muse, the power of inspiration, the power of that lightning bolt of possibility. And that just delights me to no end. I am so grateful that we have these divine glitches in the matrix, these divine, this divine grace in the matrix, you know, because gosh, look how art and love and poetry and music and creativity have continued to move us forward. It's like, what's next? What's possible now? Especially as more and more human beings are discovering the power of being available power of not living from their heads, but really resting in their heart. But when we rest in the heart, we're even more available to those moments, more available for our minds to be blown, for our hearts to be blown, for our worlds to be blown to bits by the power of the muse, by the power of love. Yay. Yay, inspiration. <laughs>